Hi guys! In today's tutorial, we'll be talking about how to add rebars in complex geometry. In most often, what we have, especially let me just use an example, column and beam, are always rect rectangular sections. So, but when we have very complex uh, geometry, how do we actually put in rebars? How do we put in the rings? Or the or the links. How do we put this rebars in Revit? So that is exactly what we'll be doing today. And uh, with this particular tutorial, we are using Revit 2023. So let's begin. So we'll now move to new. And uh, under this, we are going to under the template. We are going to use architectural metric architectural template. So say okay. So let's just wait as it opens. So. Now the next thing we need to do because we are talking about complex geometry, we won't be making use of the normal structural columns. So we model our patla um, column in geometry, you know. And then for us to do that, we move to this component and then click on model in place. And when we come to these categories, we will be making use of a structural category. In this case, structural column. Reason being that we needed to have the properties, structural properties. So, having clicked this, we now say okay. We will leave it as this structural column one. Okay. So coming here, we will be making use of blend. You know, so we click on blend, and then um for us to do that. We need to, okay, okay, making use of this is not responding. Okay, so I would like to make this maybe um one thousand and then maybe this one one two and then coming to edit top, we we'll pick this maybe make this something like uh, okay i think it's good like this so we'll now hit okay coming to this 3d uh this is what you have okay okay now let's move to elevation and then uh, drag this up so this is what we have then uh this is in 3d so first of all this view is we want to make it to be i mean we want to put it under wireframe and then this is fine okay very fine so what will happen is for us to put the reinforcement bars we first hit this okay and then under this structure we need to click on this rebar and then load in the rebar shapes you know yes so coming to this, I'll uh, move to document is under um, Revit Material 2020 Imperial. Then um structural rebar shapes. Okay. Is so move to this river okay yep and then come to this document revit material 2022 to structural rebar shapes this and then maybe just load everything load your shift and highlight everything you just open so let's just wait some time it's coming up i just want to load everything but it might not be your own case so this is just it now having done this the next thing you need to do we are going to make use of uh, this surface you know so we will not sketch so to do this we will now I want my rebars to move this along to move this way that is my main bars now to move along this surface along this surface now it will start from this and end here and end in this other surface 
so moving along this way now i will need to select the surface okay having done that you now hit the start surface which is going to be here then you hit the end surface which is this other side now having done this you now hit ok and you find that we have had we have already we already have uh the reinforcement itself so you will need to select this reinforcement and then come to this rebar set and maybe it is under single maybe change it to maximum spacing maybe maximum spacing for me i want i love 200 okay very fine so we already having this now um i will let me just change this to one is to one the scale so that this thing the outline will come out properly so the next thing will be to put i would love i would like to make this particular reinforcement to appear on this surface this other side so for us to do that we come to this propagate reverse select this and then come to this and hit finish and then that is good now the next thing will be um for clarity sake i would like to change this to a different color override by element maybe make this red okay apply okay so just for clarity sake now having done this uh the next thing will be to add lengths to add lengths but before i do that i would like to change to add the the reinforcement cover i want to really add maybe a reinforcement cover of 35 okay um add let me make this a 40 for the sake of this tutorial okay so okay that's just it is 40. now for us to add the the lengths what you need to do will be to create come to this knot and then create a reference plane now uh creating a reference plane okay very fine and then maybe name this um rr that the reference plane okay very fine now having done this you come back to this 3d and then hit on this rebar we are going to sketch and then for us to sketch we select the host the host and click on this um set work plane we are going to select the reference plane we created which is rr and hit ok now the next thing will be to come to this level one and then we will now sketch the reinforcement bar that we 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 want this is how we want it to go and then hit okay okay very fine so the next thing will be to come to this 3d you now find out that this is the reinforcement which you are talking about the lengths the lengths now for me i i prefer i want to change this length maybe to this particular shape okay or uh, this one preferably so that just it now the next thing will be to make this length to appear along this column the column length so for you for me to do that i will now click, select the 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 length come to this varying rebar set and then click on it come to this and select the host now you find out that having done this you now select the rebar again come to this rebar set it is the layout is under single so you need to change it to maybe maximum spacing and then for me i prefer making use of maximum spacing of 200 okay very fine now you see it has been propagated you know interesting <laughs> so you now come back to the knot okay and then drag this down maybe to this extent extent now when you now come back to the okay 
you will now see it this way and uh, for clarity's sake i also love to change this to um override maybe to under color then select maybe you pick this and say okay apply say okay okay that is interesting so you find out that we have clashes you know these reinforcements are really <laughs> the links are really clashing with this so for us to change it we now come to this level one and adjust this way maybe So, come back to 3D. We have something of this nature. Okay, I think we have corrected to a great extent. So, but this is how you can play around it and then get so many of them corrected. Uh, that's just it. I think I overshifted this. So, you just adjust this. And likewise, this one. So remember this is under wireframe you know so i would like to do something turn this into shaded and then um i would like to hide this butler to hide this hide element so also we can play around this if you watch where well, you find out that you have this butler box if you want to remove the reinforcement at this edge you can always tick and likewise for this other edge you can always untick this one so this is how you can also play around some reinforcement and you see we know we no longer have the clash we experienced the other time so this is one of the ways i mean you can really model a complex structure and then i can bring back these two um i can unhide these reset temporary view and uh, that's just it i also love to stop seeing the reinforcement outside because this reinforcement is not appearing outside so for me to do that come under this visibility status and click this view on obscured and hit ok likewise this and these members hit ok and then you will no longer see the reinforcement so let me bring back the reinforcement Click the unobscured view. Select. View unobscured. So, with this, we'll be coming to the end of this tutorial. Thank you.